Welcome everybody to another episode of Latif's Inspired. I'm in London's Tooting. I've been highly recommended this amazing little restaurant in Tooting. It's an Afghani restaurant, but what the difference is here is really authentic Afghani Peshawar style of food. And they're going to do it right in front of us. If you can see over here, look at this. So you got that Peshawar influence yes. of the food, yeah? Yes, yes. Okay, what's your favorite food, uh, most popular dishes in uh, Namak Mandi in Tuting? The Namak Mandi, uh, we, I mean, we have like five main dishes which are very special. Okay, so um, you have a very small menu, menu so you concentrate. Concentrate fantastic. on the five dishes. I yeah. mean, we have the barbecues and uh, um, and other stuff but the, the grilled food, food the grilled food but our main dishes are five five dishes okay so the one the first one is the lamb curry okay lamb curry, lamb curry yeah and the second one is the chicken curry yes and then the third one is chapli kebab okay chapli kebab yeah that's uh, that's a, one of the favorite kebabs in Peshawar. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm, I, can't, I can't wait to actually try the chapli kebab because I have a chicken chap, chapli kebab on my uh, recipe uh, on my channel and he's going to do a, is it a beef chapli kebab? Yeah, it's a beef chapli kebab. So this is a beef chapli kebab and hopefully afterwards I'm going to ask for the recipe so I can do a, a fantastic chapli kebab for you guys at home to do. Yeah. I've been recommended the lamb karai. Yeah. And I want to try the kabuli pilau. Ch chapli kebab is something I, o I also want to try, so yes. I can't wait yes. to try. So we're going to do some healthy style, authentic um, Afghani food here in Namak Mandi. Right, you guys are in for a treat. This food was absolutely stunning. Fantastic food in London. So this is the Namak Mandi menu. It's very simple. This is what I love about here. Nice, simple, not too many choices. So you can get basically home style food and very simple menu so ladies and gentlemen as soon as you walk in there's a nice little seated area over here and this is the restaurant entrance chef's cooking menu peshawar style karais a few tables over here and there's also tables upstairs So tables of fours, somebody eating here already, they do baby chairs for families. There you go. And you can see the chefs cooking, it's also got air conditioning. Fantastic little restaurant and I'll show you upstairs shortly. Chefs cooking away. This is authentic Peshawar style of cooking. So just basically oil. The tomato is going to create a nice thick gravy. It's taking the skin off. This has wonderful flavors. Just walking into the kitchen. Salaam alaikum. Oh, look at this. Kabuli pilau, yeah? This is the that's the carrots, the and, carrots the and the raisins. That's the kabli pilau rice. That's the kabli rice. Oh, amazing. And that's the lamb that's that you lamb. cooked. Lamb shanks, yeah? Lamb shanks that goes with the kabli pilau. Fantastic. So I've got a recipe coming out um, already on the channel for kabli pilau. Slightly a bit different to how they do it, but as authentic. So do you, are you, did you use sesame oil or ghee? This one? Yeah. We use uh, sesame oil. Yeah, mashallah. So they got the, it's proper authentic style, guys. So sesame oil to cook these and the cellar rice, yeah? Yeah, cellar yeah. rice. So if you come to Namak Men there, you're going to get the proper authentic style of uh, Kabuli Pilau. And now we're going to show you a massive Peshawar style naan bread. Yeah. Bismillah. Yes. Look at these ladies and gentlemen, massive naan bread, a few minutes or a couple of minutes it should be ready, fantastic. While the naan's getting done, this is the kabuli pilau, the carrots and the raisins bubbling away. 
massive pot of Kabuli pilau rice which is going to be put together this is cooked in the lamb stock and this is the lamb that is just put some clean film on top you can see the lamb shank so it's got all the bone marrow the lamb stock the yakni into this fantastic rice look at these gorgeous individual fluffy rice fantastic ladies and gentlemen look at this mountain of lamb chops it's got its full fat and there's no spices just a little bit of salt slight seasoning for a bit of flavoring and we're gonna actually try some of this lamb chops oh, so he's taking the naan bread out a few char little bit of chard and on this stand look at that work of art fantastic naan bread that big yes. yeah <laughs> It's like a pizza, mashallah. Wow, wow, look at this. Big, fat, juicy kebab swimming away in that oil. Fantastic, mashallah, tabarakallah. <laughs> oh, wow. Chef Hamid, mashallah. I don't need to go to Peshawar. No. I come to Tooting. <laughs> this is amazing. Fantastic. Jazakallah khair. Thanks for showing us. Thank you, Thank you very much. Add some chaat masala. Let's spill Right, ladies and gentlemen. I am in awe. I know it's just meat on a plate, but as a chef, this just takes me back. You can see the lovely meat, the coriander, the zira, the tomatoes, the onions, the spring onion on top, and a bit of chak masala on top of this fantastic kebab. Jazakallah khair, chef. I'm very honored the chef actually showed me how to do this, and I can't wait to taste the food. Jazakallah khair, thank you. Is it chak masala? Yeah, it has chak masala. Chak masala, okay. Yes. So the main, uh, why people like lamb chops, is that we only put salt in it yes. and it's 100 percent pure lamb. So oh, it's, mashallah. Uh, it's, now the season is for the spring lamb. Yes. So no need for any tenderization for the lamb. So the lamb is it's soft. Cooked, yeah, it's soft and it's cooked within uh, within five minutes. Within five minutes. Within five, five or seven, seven minutes it's cooked. So ladies and gentlemen, if you've got good quality lamb, if it's in season, all you need is just a little bit of salt and the meat should do the rest of the hard work of flavor that's all this gentleman is saying and i can't wait to actually try just admiring the lamb i can't wait to flip it every time i'm a chef but i get excited with different cuisines just the simplicity of afghan food is why i enjoy and i personally recommend this restaurant and I can't wait to try out the food it's all go in the restaurant So he's cutting it in the middle to make sure the inside is cooked as well. So he's just covering it with a nice lid because this creates a nice little steam and smoke which gives it that smoky flavour and it also cooks it for um, lovely fragrance and flavour. Yeah. Wow.
feel like a sultan, sultan of Afghanistan. This is lovely. They've actually got a booking um, a bit in a bit. There's going to be in this room, so the whole room has been taken over. Uh, but we're lucky. Uh, there's three of us, and we're going to enjoy this fantastic. Most importantly, it's really authentic. That's why I've come here. It's not like a franchise restaurant and it just looks fantastic, it feels fantastic and the food is actually pre-cooked or something. This you've seen here, the guy actually cooks everything himself. I mean, I'm in awe of the chapli kebab as well as the sheer simplicity of the lamb chops and I'm actually thinking about it and I'm salivating. I'm really hungry. I made sure I had no breakfast to come and enjoy the food over here and I'm happy because the atmosphere is really nice and nice and peaceful so you can come here with your family and just enjoy a fantastic meal and basically if you just close your eyes, open it and it feels like you're somewhere in Afghanistan. That's the most important thing about here. Oh, mashallah. <laughs> Yo, check this number out. Wow, chapli kebab, lamb chops. Beautiful. <laughs> there, please. Wow. Oh wow, wow we got another one. We actually got a chicken karai as well. Wow. Jazakallah thank you very much. Wow. <clears throat> MashaAllah. I'm going to try one of my favourites, the lamb chops. So let me try the lamb chops. Sprinkle a bit of lemon juice. MashaAllah, the desserts. Yeah. This is green tea. Green tea. Thank you. Bro. So, um, just everything, JazakAllah khair. Thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, um, everybody gets a complimentary green tea. Look at that. The nice little fat over here which got the flavour, the char grill, amazing, bismillah. Oh yeah, mm. look at it. Right, I'm not just saying this guys, and I do mean it. This, it doesn't have the spices, what I'm used to in Indian restaurants, but if you want to enjoy the meat, it's subtle in flavour, it's not bland at all but the flavour of the lamb is gorgeous and it was very soft and it just melted in my mouth mm. and that flavour of the fat I mean over here if you can see this is amazing I'm really enjoying this lamb chop right I can't wait to have another piece but what I'm going to do, I'm going to try the chapli kebab. This is something that I've been looking forward to. Wow, look at that. I mean, I've got some mint sauce over here, but I just want to taste the meat. So let me try it. Wow. That. It's not overly spiced, once again. You can taste the meat and that spice of the coriander, a bit of the cumin, the fried onion, the caramelization of the fried onion. Gorgeous, very nice in flavor, packed full of flavor, fantastic. Now this is the Kabuli Pilau. This is what Afghanistan is famous for and their national dish. I'm gonna try the rice first. Fluffy, individual pieces of rice. This is the cellar rice, cooked to perfection. Very nice. Fluffy, every grain is individual and you can taste the lamb stock in the rice. Absolutely wonderful. I'm going to try a bit of the lamb. Mm. 
Mm. Wow. That lamb is so soft. It's been boiling away in its own juices. It's just tearing apart. It's a fantastic flavour. And this is the carrot and the raisins. This is proper authentic food. I'm, I'm not just saying it, I'm being very honest with you. I'm really enjoying this and this is the authentic style of Kabuli Pilau. The lamb chops, the chapli kebab, wonderful. Let's move on to the karais. I'm going to rip a bit of the naan bread. Huge naan. And my favourite is the lamb karai. So it's a bit oily, but this is how it's meant to be. And the thickness from the gravy comes from the tomatoes. This is wonderful. Very nice flavour. It's not overly spiced. You've got that richness from the oils and that tomato gravy. Wonderful. Now let's try a bit of that lamb. So the sauce was amazing. The lamb should be even more. So this is genuine tender lamb, not your mutton or your beef. So it should be soft. And I can see sort of pinky in colour, it's not overcooked. I mean, he cooks everything from fresh, it normally takes about 15-20 minutes wait. So I know this is cooked from raw to this. Bismillah. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. Mm. That is so soft so tender so juicy and meaty and with that gravy wonderful not overly spiced but very flavorsome let me try the chicken i know the gravy is about similar but i'm going to try the gravy on its own because this gravy you can just dip your naan bread and eat it all day Oh wow, this food is getting better and better, subhanAllah. Try a bit of the chicken. Look at that, I think that's cracked black pepper on top. Wow. So simple. You just from raw, just fried the chicken and added it to the gravy. Wonderful, beautiful. Complimentary salad, crunchy, crispy, nice and fresh. You get a bit of mint sauce, and I don't know what that sauce is, but let me give it a try. Mmm, like a spicy mango chutney. Very nice. Let me try the mint sauce. Nice, fresh yogurt. Bit off. This is fresh mint, not your garden mint. I can taste the fresh mint. Wonderful, wonderful meal. And now, you guys can join me. <laughs> They've been waiting for this amazing food. Now we're going to tuck in and enjoy. It took it too long, mate. Right, ladies and gentlemen, green tea. And the green tea comes complimentary. And they've given us some desserts to try. So I love a bit of green tea, especially after your meal. It helps you digest. And I'm, I'm not sure what this is. 
it looks like Banga Khata Toast. <laughs> so it looks like biscuit or some sort of fr dried fruit. Okay. This is this is um the molasses gur. What do you, what is that word? Yeah, molasses. Dried molasses. Sugary palm sugar. So it's just basically sugar. So I must be sipping at the same time, but I've been <laughs> eating it. Oh yeah. Ariana style green tea. Fantastic. I can just keep sipping. Uh, the amount of food I've had here, I think I need to lie down. Now let's try this dessert. The owner here is very hospitable. It was, it's so nice and giving us too much food. But look at this. You need a nice sweet dessert after this. Oh, that's firni. Looks like a rice pudding. Firni. Yep. Wow. Oh yeah. This is next level. Creamy rice pudding style with a bit of fruit and nuts. Fantastic. Almonds. Oh wow. Nice, sweet. I thought I won't be able to have this because of the heavy meal. But greedy as I am and tasty as it is, I'm going to plow away. Wow. The naan couldn't be finished. This food was that good, I'm going to take a takeaway. I'm that happy with the food and I'm that impressed with this humble little restaurant in Tooting. And the guys who's recommended me to come here and try the food, thank you personally because I've personally enjoyed this food and I'm going to come back here with my family and enjoy this wonderful restaurant. To myself, what a wonderful world.